I've had a lot of fun learning how to run the Tormach CNC slant bed lathe. However, lathe tooling took me a little while to figure out. So as quick as we can today, let's show how to set the tool offsets for three tools and then turn a quick threaded part. Welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. There are a lot of different ways to do lathe tooling and to think about lathe tooling. Tormach has a great video that goes into great lengths about tool offsets and some of the theory. Let's keep this video snappy. We're in Pathpilot on the lathe, and on the main page here, you'll notice you have what looks to be like tool offsets. Never mess with the X or the diameter. I'll explain more of that later. But that should always be constant. In other words, absent some strange situation where you're turning offset, once you find the center line of the spindle, uh, on this lathe that should never change regardless of what diameter the material is it's it's still the same center line your z will change because that depends on how far out your workpiece is sticking from the spindle or chuck or collet etc so don't worry about this right now what we're going to go is do to go to offsets the first tool we're going to set up is a pretty standard od turning tool as you can see here and we're going to click this one right here because we are turning on the turret, which is on the back side. If you are in a quick change tool post or gang, it might be on the front like here. But so I'm gonna click that one. I love the touch screen for this, by the way. It's yelling at me because I don't have a tool selected. Tool seven for me. Hit that tool. And now what we need to do is touch off on both the X, which is your diameter, and the Z, which is the height or distance from the spindle. Got the turret on tool seven already. I'm gonna jog down to my part now, once you get close, there are two ways you can do this. The paper test way is the less accurate, but maybe faster way. Love the touch screen for this. I'm just going to come down in thou increments. So we're just touching about like so. That might be a hair close, actually. Now, we know this paper is four and a half thou thick, and we'll measure up our part real quick. This time we'll just use calipers. And that's 875. So what do you put into the screen? Well, you, it's diameter. So if you added four and a half thou paper to one side, you'd need to add it to the other side. So you're actually adding nine thou. So it's 0.875 plus nine thou. So, in the touch X, we'll type 0 0.884. Now, the more accurate way, and I actually think it's easier, to be honest with you, is to actually take a cut and then just measure the cut. We'll put on 1,000 RPMs. We won't use coolant. And forward, and we'll slow it down. And we'll just take enough of a cut so that we can get a micrometer on there. Now don't move your Z. Don't hit the up and down arrow. Just go back out. We can, once we clear the part, we'll stop the spindle. Now we can wrap it away. And again, don't move your X. We will take the ultimate in precision, the Shars micrometer here, and we'll put it on there. Point eight three zero zero five. So I'm going to call that point eight three zero. So let's put that in the touch X. We'll just say point eight three zero. Boom. Boom. Make sure you hit it twice so that the green arrow lights up. Now, if you notice, when we hit point eight three zero, our X diameter updated to point eight three zero. So let's take a test cut. We'll go back to main. Jog down. Let's just take it at. Uh, 0.8 exactly, and slow back down, forward, now in my experience, sometimes you have to, you'll be off by a, maybe a thou or so here, but then once you dial that in, you're on the money. So let's give it a shot. We should be at 0 0.80. I'm getting 2,000 under or so, 0.7977. So let's do this. So now what we can do, we'll go back to offsets and we'll say we haven't moved the part. 
So the machine thinks we're at 0 0.80, but we're saying we're actually at 0 0.7977. So 0 0.7977, enter twice. Now, notice the x diameter updated. That makes sense. Let's go to 0.77. Now, my guess, based on experience, is that this should be spot on. There we go. Half a tenth, not even. I, 0.7704. Do these micrometers measure? Eh, they should measure half a thou. Okay. Um, there I'm getting 0304. So, within one tenth, no. But three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, pretty good. Okay. Now, to measure the height offset, let's come over the Z. This one's pretty easy for now. The next tools get a little trickier. We're somewhere where we're gonna take a cut. And let's take a cut. We'll go back to the offset page here. And hit zero, touch X, stop. Now, instead of taking a cut, we could have, as long as we had a square face, done the paper test, and there you would only add four and a half thou. You would not double it uh, because you're just measuring the distance between the edge of the tooltip and the um, workpiece with this paper in between. Now, what we've done is created a master tool. It has its drawbacks. I like it. So now what we're going to do is move to a parting tool and set that up. Okay, parting tool is T3 for me. Choose that. Now, parting tool, we're going to set off, touch off a little bit, a little differently. We'll show the paper test on this one. So we know that that part, well, actually, what did we say? Yeah, 0 0.7704. So, get close, switch to foul, ticks. One little thing I don't like is the jog is off when you when you have the jog rate slow and you step it, it steps slow, which it shouldn't do. They'll fix that, I'm sure. So Okay, there we're touching. So in the touch X, we are going to, uh, first I'll do my calculator, 0 0.7704, then 0 0.009 plus is 0.7794. So 0 0.7794, enter, enter. Perfect. Now for the Z, a little bit weird on the parting tool to me. You actually want to basically set it, um, grab a gauge block. This right here is actually how you're going to set it as Z zero. So the way I'm going to do that is come out to the front of the part, do the paper test, okay grabbing there. So now we have to add the, the thickness of that parting insert which is 0 0.086, then the thickness of the piece of paper which is 0 0.0045, so that's 0 0.0905. So in the touch Z, 0 0.0905, enter twice. Now I've got tool three set up. Last tool for us today is tool four. Parting tool, boom. Basically the same thing. Let's do it quickly. The level of accuracy is up to you. You can do test cuts and and you can do measuring cuts or you can do paper cuts. Depends on what you need. Are you working on a precision part? Are you working for a tractor part? Um, for this one, we'll just do the paper test. Again, it would be easy to do a cut test as well. 
Okay, so point seven seven zero four is our workpiece, and then nine thou because we add the double the thickness of the paper. Point seven seven nine four zero point seven seven nine four, and then on the Z, you're gonna laugh, but for me, I've never worried a ton about where my threading tool is centered exactly perfectly in the Z. Maybe you guys think that's sacrilegious, but I've actually, a lot of times, uh, just come in and eyeballed it. So it is on the center line. That's the important thing, the, the very tip of the tool. Call that good. I'll do a Z, zero. Perfect. Make a test part. Didn't really have anything in mind, but let's just bang something out here. So let's see here. Tool seven, we're going to go back, say, negative one. Initial X is the part, which is point. The material is 0.875. We'll turn it down to 0.75, and we will no fill it radius. We'll start at Z0, 0, 0, 1, and we'll do a finish depth of cut, roughing depth of cut at 0.01, and finish depth of cut at 3,000. Okay, so post a file, temp. Back to conversational. Now we'll turn down, let's go actually look at the thread. Let's thread it half 13, tool four, depth of cut 0 0.005, I don't even know yet here. So we'll do 800, I should get rid of the error message here. 500, okay. Okay, so we, if we turn down half 13, we wanna start at a diameter of 0.4985. So let's go back to OD turn, and now let's turn down back point, taking point 0.75, and let's go from 0.75 down to 0.4985. Let's make sure that was right. 4985, yeah. And it looks good. Append to file, temp. So now we've got a shouldered part. Okay, to put in some thread relief, I'm getting a groove error, so we're just going to actually part it, but part it only down to 0.4 on the X. So, and then the trick is how far back do you part? So if we're, if we're turning back to 0.75 inches, so we're gonna have three quarter inch that's turned down that we're then going to um, thread, we want the thread relief to end at 0.75. So what we did is just added the tool, that parting tool diameter to that. So 0.75 minus 0.086, that's how we get the 0.664. It's hard to see, but you can see we do have a parting tool groove there. So in theory, we hope that that distance between those two is correct and we get a good thread relief. So back to conversational. If we are grooving back to 0.664, let's thread from Zn negative 0.664, Z start of zero, no taper. Hold on. I literally just re-image the controller with PathPilot so that we start in fresh. Lead length 0.01, that's how far how far out in front of the workpiece you're starting. In fact, that can actually be a little bit more. Now there's more we could do, folks. We could do a deburr and, and thread relief, um, which we should do, but I wanted to stay focused on tooling offsets. So knock on wood, we're good to go. Okay, so there's our threading pass. It's taking a bunch of passes, probably more than need be. Let's see how she runs. No coolant, much easier with the camera. We also have illegally rig the doors open, don't do that. So folks, seriously, uh, the CNC lay with the turret, the chips is dangerous. Keep your, keep your enclosure door closed. We, we are only doing this for filming and, well, you know how that goes. Cuts look great. These aluminum polished inserts, I'll put a link in the video description that Tormach sells, I think are great. I've got a lot to learn on lathe tooling and I know there's a, I mean, actually a Mitsubishi rep came by, which is kind of funny because, you know, we're a small shop and dropped off, I mean, it must have been a 1300 page book on it with tooling, and it had mill tooling as well, but the amount of lathe tooling is bonkers. So this is 3,000 per rev at only 750 RPMs. That's a phenomenal finish, but um, really, too, you know, way slower than, than need be. Now it should come back and roughed out. I was cleaning up the shoulder. Now it should come down and, and machine uh, down to 0.495 as a
pre-thread diameter. Again, we could have gone way deeper on the uh, depth of cut. I didn't uh, write down all my settings before I re-imaged Pathpilot, which is a bummer. Because I should have. I was thinking about going and watching old videos of mine to see if I can figure out what some of them were. Thread relief looks good. Let's see if we crash. Nope. It's a really slow RPMs. Sorry. I normally thread it three times this fast. That's okay. So as you can see, the issue is we probably need a little bit more thread relief to go to be able to thread all the way up to that shoulder because otherwise the side of the threading tool is going to crash into the shoulder that we just turned, but it should be okay. What I wanted to show today was that we started from nothing and have tools set up that we can do. I mean, this is these three tools can you can do a lot with on a lathe. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do as well. And I've got an exciting way, I think we're going to do it in a separate video on measuring these threads. So I'm really excited about it. it is not exactly thread wires. Okay, after the uh, longest thread cutting uh, I've ever done, half 13 nut. We didn't uh, chamfer, which would really help, but there we go. Yep. <laughs> Threads right up to that shoulder, actually, which I wasn't even sure if we would. Uh, but more importantly, look, we got a good, eh, it's a little sloppy, maybe just a hair, but certainly not bad at all. So to all sets for late, folks, if you have questions, let me know. I learned a lot of this really fresh. It's funny. I've run the mill now for six, seven, eight years. I'm really comfortable with it. This stuff is all very new to me. So if there's more stuff you want to see in this machine, please let me know. Otherwise, take care. See you soon.